Oh. First of all, I want to give a shout out to Rufus King High School right here in Milwaukee. Um, we have things going on besides Jeffrey Dahmer. Um, one of the things that we're proud of is Jordan Poole. And we're uh, not only proud of him, his teammate, Kevon Looney. Um, so let's first of all, I want to give a shout out to those guys, those young men. And again, shout out to all Rufus King High School students. I know y'all are so proud of Jordan. So, but with that being said, um, I believe that Kevon went to Vincent High School. So shout out to y'all too. Okay. Shout out to y'all got two players from Milwaukee on a championship team. And what that reminds me of, a lot of people don't know, is for those of y'all who are serious basketball fans, from Lincoln High School, we had downtown Freddie Brown, and uh, we had John Johnson. And they both played for the Seattle Supersonics, and they both were from Milwaukee. Yeah, I believe they both were from Milwaukee. Now, so, downtown, that's where that come from. Downtown, Freddie, oh, he took it way downtown. That was my man, Freddie Brown. Lincoln's own. So, Milwaukee has produced a few good professionals. Terry Porter, who played for the uh, who Portland Trailblazers. We can give him a shout out today because he was a pretty good pro. Um, this just was a lot of players. We can talk about the brothers from Brown Deer High School. Um, oh, God, who am I thinking about? They went to school with my nephew. He just, I think he's a, a Bucks commentator now. Oh, uh, boy. Anyway, there's a few of you guys out here that are putting in work, and so I want to congratulate y'all. Okay? I just wanted to make that short. But in the meantime, since I got past this mark, I just let me speak on Draymond Green and my man, Jordan Poole. Um, I think it was pretty sad that it happened, but shit like that does happen in basketball all the time. I think the thing about it is you have a video mole that decided that 10000 bucks. if I was going to sell that tape, I'm not going to put it past me that I wouldn't have. It depends on what my financial situation was. But you can rest assured I would have got more than 10000 Oh, my goodness. He took the lowest. So... It's going to be easy to find him. Anyways, uh, I respect Draymond for coming out and getting his apology off to let people know that he's not above reproach and he knows when his behavior stinks. And I want to thank the Rook uh, for keeping his composure. Well, I guess he couldn't have done anything after that, but I saw a practice, and he seemed to be managing himself just like a professional. So what the rumor is, it's probably true that the young fella was out bragging about his contract coming out and calling him triple single. I believe that because you know what we do in Milwaukee? We love to talk. Y'all know how it be. I done seen you at Mo Park. I done seen you. And uh, Franklin Square, come on, y'all. Y'all know how y'all do. And some of that trash talk really get you in trouble. So anyway, with that being said, I know that this will soon pass over. And it's they play tonight, and it's real important to see how they handle the situation. And I'm sure, uh, the the sit, uh, I'm sure it should, they'll be it'll be handled as professional as they are.
In fact, I think Draymond is going to be off for a few days. I don't know if that means that he's not going to play in the games, but he needs to take a time off and cool off because I know he's embarrassed. And, uh, you know, he's got to eat that. Okay? And he's man enough to do it. So with that being said, good luck, young pup. And he, he's the future of the Warriors. I know it, it don't feel good. But he's he he earns it and he deserved it. And so y'all smell him coming. Y'all smell him right behind you. Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> you guys are getting older. Y'all original championship team, and there's no disrespect. But y'all smell him coming. Jordan Poole is coming. He's the future of the Golden State Warriors. Congratulations. See you guys in the next video.